Hello, 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 Cyber World. This is Timothy Phillips, aka Oct, from the Octabout Studios in Miami Beach, Florida, folks. It is a beautiful day here. Not even 82, I think. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, comfortable day. Um, we have days in the 91s, 92s that go on for weeks. So this is a really uh, treat for us. I uh, just want to say hello to all my friends, family, and loved ones, and hope everybody has a fantastic Sunday. Uh, my football talk show just came on. It's 11 a.m., and I'll be watching football and resting today. Um, I'll be re resting up, and I uh, overdid it the other day on packing some boxes and stuff, and I really have been kind of tired. So I, I sleep a lot, but that's what I need, and my body tells me that I need to sleep a lot. I need to sleep a lot. So that's that. Um, I just want to say howdy to Ronald Sargent, a.k.a. Ty my best buddy uh, up there in Ohio and I uh, hope you guys have a good day today and tell Aunt Pat I said hello Ty and tell your wife Shell beautiful Shell Titus slash Sergeant hello too and of course your wonderful daughter Alyssa tell them all I said hello um, it's quiet here. Stanley, 82-year-old roommate, um, he is out, went to the movies. So that's good because he doesn't get out as much as he should. Um, he, he also needs a total hip replacement on his uh, right hip, I think. And no, left hip. Same as mine. I have to have a replacement on my left hip. Um, but uh, he doesn't get around like he used to. I've been living with Stanley now uh, 27 years, something like that, and, uh, well, everybody ages, you know, and especially at his age, 82, and he's still kicking butt and getting out there and going. He goes to the store, he goes to the movies, he goes to the library, he goes to the Social Security and his doctors and all this stuff without any help, so he's really, I think he's kicking butt. Anyway, he's out to a movie, and uh, my partner is 17 years. Chad is working, and he takes care of a 92-year-old elderly lady. Her name is Heidi, and poor Heidi. I put up a video or pictures or something about her. She went through the uh, Holocaust, and she, her brothers and sisters um, basically all ga gassed or were killed. And she told me she used to walk by the pile of bodies and see her sister's body there rotten in the sun. And she has just been through horrific, horrific ordeals. And uh, she was in a line to be gassed, actually. And uh, she used to sing and dance for the, uh, for the um, soldiers that kept her captive. She used to sing and dance for them. And they would give her fruit or apple or, you know, throw her little, little treats. And um, she was in line to be gassed, and she felt strange. She said she just felt strange. So she jumped over to another line that was going to hard labor uh, detail. And little did she know until the, you know, about a half hour, 45 minutes later, it was a gas chamber line to be killed. And she uh, survived by just her intuition. She said she just felt it inside that something was wrong. Um, she is great. She's 92. She, we take her to the casino and to the uh, mall and to her doctors to get her hair done. And uh, we took her a couple months ago to an uh, um, ancient monastery uh, right up the street here. Um, and she really enjoyed that, but uh, Chad's taking care of her today, and I think they're probably at the casino now, and um, he's doing good. He's getting better and better and better at uh, talking with people and being uh, more trusting of his own self-worth 
there to present himself in the pr uh, proper way, talking to people, because he's really, really just a sh not shy, but he's not out a really outgoing person, and then other times he is, so I can't say that. But anyway, he's a, he's a doing good, and I'm doing good. Um, I haven't had any issues. Again, I keep saying I haven't had any issues with the uh, C. difficile, and it looks like the total transplantation worked, and my colon is kicking butt. Now, I bet you never heard that before. My colon's kicking butt. Um, a quiet day. I just don't have anything really going on. There's a ton of stuff to do around here, um, but I just gonna rest. There's still stuff uh, from moving. We spent two months now moved into this place, and it still needs a lot of stuff put away. And also, we got to put stuff in storage, but we got to go through it first because all these boxes are. 25 years of my life in my home previous to this home and um, I lost my home to fo foreclosure but um, that's all here and I haven't had the opportunity to go through 25 years worth of stuff and now I moved in I moved from a two bedroom down to a one bedroom right here still on Miami Beach and the weird coincidence um, we moved and we still live on the same street, just seven blocks down the road. So, uh, and then we had to move again because the building we moved into after about, what was it, eight months, uh, went condo. So everybody had to move out so they could do construction and building and all that stuff. So we found this place right across the street, still on Byron Avenue. So I've had three homes right here on Byron Avenue and I guess I just want to stay on Byron Avenue <laughs> oh, anyway the football's coming on um, I'm up to like seven minutes I don't have a whole lot to say uh, I love you all I love you Wanda my beautiful sister up in uh, Pennsylvania as well um, I hope that you are doing well and feeling good and being good and I miss you, and I wish you sure would Skype me or call me or talk to me on uh, Facebook when you're on there. I know you work in really hard. She takes care of elderly people as well. Um, she works in a nursing home there. But um, I know you're working hard and all, but say hello. I'd like to uh, talk to you. And Joycey, my little sister, Joyce Lewig, I love you, sis. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. I hope we can ubu today. Let's ubu. And Ronald Ty Sargent, um, give me a buzz. I have a phone here. What's the number? 305-242-5500. Um, um, don't everybody call that, please, because I only have 43 units, which is about an hour. But I just want to talk to you, Ty, and I'll set you up and we'll walk through. You, we can Skype each other and we'll walk through uh, setting you up a new YouTube channel today. I'm really excited about that, Ty. So give me a call. And um, where, where was I before? I don't know. I was rambling on there. Um, Joycey Lewig, yes, my little sister and her beautiful daughter, Lynn, I mean, um, uh, Lynn, Lee. Lynn, yes, Lynn Lewig, my niece, and, uh, I love you both, and I hope you're doing good today, Joycey, and I hope you're doing good today, Lynn, and Lynn has her, uh, boy, for, boyfriend for many years now, uh, Kevin, hello, Kevin. And I hope you're doing good. Um, Wayne Phillips, my older brother, I love you, bro, and I miss you. And uh, I hope we can talk soon. And well, give me a call on Chad's phone. Give me a call on that phone because that's unlimited wherever in the whole United States. So um, give me a call, Wayne, and tell your beautiful wife, Lisa, hello, and I love you all.
and your two wonderful kids, Adam and Jessica. I love you too. From Uncle Tim. And uh, then onward would be to my brother, Terry. Um, he, was, he passed away February of this year on the 23rd, uh, somewhere around midnight. He was in a snowmobile accident. I love you, bro, and I always will. And I love stopping by your page. And I'm, I'm getting up now to talk and deal with it a lot better than uh, I was dealing with it for, uh, for a few months, several months now, actually. Um, but I'm going to start uh, leaving messages and videos to you on your page. So everybody say hello and uh, to my brother, Terry, my oldest brother, Terry Phillips, and um, just say a prayer for him. He's an angel, and he needs all your prayers, folks. He's a sweet angel looking down upon us and uh, just keeping us safe and warm. I love you, Terry. So that's the immediate family. There's uh, Tammy Donovan, and I love you, cousin Tammy. I love you, I love you, I love you, I do. I found the video I made for you uh, two years ago where I had a big old wig with uh, plastic colored eggs uh, all woven into them. And I made you a video. I found it today. It's funny as shit. <laughs> I might post those videos up for everyone to see. I love you, Cousin Tammy, and there's Greg and Jeff Statnick and their two, two, two wives and beautiful kids. I love you all. And over to Uncle Ronnie and uh, Randy Phillips and uh, Aunt Rita and uh, Ronald Phillips Sr. and um, uh, uh, Leanne Randall and Wesley Randall, her little baby, and her husband, Matt. Randall, and uh, over to Terry Phillips's son, Matthew. Hello, I don't know you yet, and I hope to get to meet you or know you one day, um, and I hope you see this video somehow, way, shape, or form, maybe through your mom, K.K. Phillips. That was Terry's, that is Terry's wife. Um, widow, uh, actually, now. But uh, hello, KK. I love you, and I see you pop on and off, and I just love to chat with you. So anytime, just give me a yell, and we'll chat. I love you so much. Mwah. And uh, over to Robin Pelchi, Kimberly Gockley, which is her sister, and Robin Pelchi is my cousin. Uh, Kevin Pelchi, love you. Keep in touch. Say hello, man. Say hello. Everybody, I see you all on chat and this stuff, but nobody types and says hello. I'm going to start freaking out one day and just say hello to every single green light that's on. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. You want to be on camera real quick? Huh? You want to be on camera real quick? Come here. Come here. Here she is. This is Gizmo. Mm -hmm. First time I actually ever picked her up that long. Got her about a year ago. Got him about a year ago. Anyway, I'm getting on 14 minutes, and I know that Facebook only deals with a 15-minute video. Um, Kevin, Robin, Kimberly Gockley, Kevin Pelchi, Robin Pelchi, and uh, Jacqueline Pelchi. I love you all. Uh, all their little kids, uh, there's many different names, can't remember them all, but I know some of you. And also a special hello to Casey Pelchi and Kyle Pelchi, uh, the sons of Kevin Pelchi, uh, which is my cousin, so they're my nephews. Um, take care, be strong, um, stick it out because it's well worth it. They're, you know, they're, they're in their teens now in college and just be strong and stick with it. I'm so proud of you, Kyle Pelchi, and what you've done and traveling all the world and all those things. So take care of you all in my immediate family, and they're on with my cousins and nieces and nephews. 1445. Got to go. Love you. Peace. That's it.